previously. Oh, it's just... I'm not so sure that this is the best time for me to be on Teenage Girl Brain. I... Peyton left me a message saying she wants to talk. She wants to talk? What does that even mean? Well, I'm fairly certain it means she wants to talk. Okay, it is... Is she the single most selfish person on the planet? She literally made you Eskimo Brothers with Satan. She doesn't deserve FaceTime with you. She doesn't? She slept with Blaine, which first of all, ew. And second of all, I can't even. Oh. Do you think perhaps you might be reacting a bit more dramatically than usual due to your recent meal? It's actually called being supportive. You should maybe try it sometime. Oh my god, was that just so super bitchy? I am so sorry. Oh, good god. It just really hurts me when someone hurts you. You know, you're like, you're like my best friend ever. For real. We're totally best friends, right? Yes. <sighs> Summer after high school, high school when, when we first met, we made out in your Mustang to radio head. And on my 18th birthday, we got matching tattoos. It is so you and Peyton? Oh, how about turning it down a couple hundred decibels, Sparky? I don't think Miley Perry Gomez wants her fans going deaf. Oh my God, you are so embarrassing. Stop trying to be funny. Lower the music, young man. It's not even that. Major. But I'm just trying. Don't make me ask you again. <sighs> Whatever, I'm turning it down. So this is happening. It took me 20 minutes to get out of the parking lot because Liv insisted on checking my oil. Well, here it's been all selfies and sour gummies and Demi Lovato. How'd you make out of the bank? Oh, we came up empty. But this guy right here, you cannot believe how good he is at interviewing people. We talked to all of Stan's co-workers. Everybody loved him. What did they say he was again? Enthusiastic and supportive. The memory on this guy. See, I know what's happening right now with the brain, but it still freaks me out. Well, if anyone can get used to it, it's you. I guess I'll start looking into his friends at Knights of Columbus in his bowling league. Where are you off to, kiddo? I have mercenary training. God. Don't text and drive. Stop trying to control me. It's a lot different going over the wall with your gear on. Your holster is gonna snag on everything. Can I help you with something, newbie? Your abs make me want to kill myself. You're basically carved out of marble. I'm just like this like hideous blob of dead fat. I'm on Team Girl Brain. I'm sorry. Not on the tubes. Tubes? We all get these. A bunch of brains mashed together. No visions, no crazy mood swings. Oh my god. I cannot stop taking selfies. I stare at them and I just, I, I criticize myself. I mean, look at this. Oh, I look like ass in every picture. Exactly where in those texts, Winslow. Your friend was dead just hours after she sent them. Shortly, oh you- Oh my God, Badger much? She just found out her best friend was murdered. Major Nathaniel Lillywhite. Don't even. That was standing back and being quiet. I said, like, maybe a sentence. God, it wasn't like I was... I saw what was on Cindy's phone. It was a selfie Winslow took. She was in bed with a shirtless man. The man appeared to be in his 40s. Ew. Yeah, and he just came to pick her up. The shirtless man in the pictures was Winslow's stepfather. I'm, like, so grossed out right now. 